factorization one of the most important concepts of the number system well if you ask me how important it is there are many topics which are directly depending on this like hcf lcm unit digit of a number reminder theorem finding factors of a number in fact if you ask me what is factorization in general terms i'll tell it is just a post mortem of a number which tells you each and everything about the number so let us understand what exactly factorization is technically suppose if i take numbers like let's say 12 i can take 36 and take 135 let's say 840 and so on now let us try to factorize these numbers and see what do we get now i can factorize this as 4 into 3 where 4 is nothing but 2 square and 3 is 3 power 1 likewise 36 can be written as 4 into 9 where 4 is 2 square and 9 is 3 square again 135 what is 135 i can write it as 15 into 9 where this is 3 into 5 and this is 3 square Altogether, 3 square and 3 becomes 3 cube into 5 power 1 further if i want to factorize 840 i can write it as 84 into 10 where 84 is 12 into 7 10 is 2 into 5 now we already know 12 is a 2 square into 3 so here we'll get 1 2 square into 3 power 1 when i combine this and this what do we get 2 square into 2 is 2 cube there is 1 3 3 power 1 1 5 5 power 1 and 7 power 1 so this is the factorized form of 840 now let us understand what exactly we are doing in the name of factorization now if you see i have represented 12 as a product of powers of 2 and 3 here i represented 840 as product of powers of 2 3 5 7 so what is factorization representing a number as a product of powers of prime numbers so if you see all the bases are always prime numbers now why because every composite number is made up of one or more than one prime number in fact if you take 4 4 is 2 square even that is made up of a prime number so basically prime numbers are building blocks of all the composite numbers now through factorization we will check how many prime numbers are used to construct that particular number now you understood the meaning of the factorization in very simple terms now let us see how we calculate or how we can calculate number of factors of any given number using factorization now suppose if i take very simple number 6 what are the factors of 6 1 2 3 6 four factors are there suppose if i talk about 12 what are the factors 1 2 3 4 6 12 six factors are there suppose if i take let's say 360 now can we list all the factors of 360 like this yes we can do that but we gonna take eternity for that so what we do here is we use the concept of factorization to calculate the factors of all these numbers so let me show that to you with this simple example 6 now 6 when i factorize it i'll get a 2 into 3 so 2 power 1 3 power so if you observe in 2 power 1 we will have 2 power 0 as well as 2 power 1 in 3 power 0 we will have 3 power 0 and 3 power 1 now let me show you how you got these factors when i multiply 2 power 0 with 3 power 0 that is 1 into 1 you got this factor when i multiply 2 power 1 into 3 power 1 that is 1 into 3 3 this is how you got 3 now again when i multiply 2 power 1 into 3 power 0 that is 2 into 1 that is 2 this is how we got 2 now here 2 power 1 into 3 power 1 that is 6 again let me show you another example as well in this case if i factorize this i should get 2 square into 3 power 1 right now in 2 square we can have 2 power 0 2 power 1 and 2 square whereas in 3 power 1 we can have 3 power 0 and 3 power 1 now 
If I multiply 2 power 0 into 3 power 0, that is nothing but 1. 2 power 0 into 3 power 1, that is 1 into 3 is 3. Now, 2 power 1 is 2 into 3 power 0 is 1. 2 into 1, 2. Again, 2 power 1 into 3 power 1, 2 into 3, 6. 2 square into 1, 4. 2 square into 3 power 1, 12. Again, if you see how we are getting the factors, every number in this set is multiplied with every other number in this set to produce another number called, or new numbers called factors. So, if you see, here I have three numbers. Now, here I have two numbers, 3 into 2, 6. This is how we got these six numbers. In this case as well, we have two here. And here also we have two numbers, 2 into 2, four factors are there for 6. Now, if I apply the same concept for 360, now 360 can be written as 36, 36 into 10, 36 is 4 into 9, into 10 is 2 into 5, 2 square and 1 extra 2, that is 2 cube, 3 square 9 and 5 is 5 power 1. Now, let us see how many different numbers we get inside them. In 2 power 3, we can have 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 square, 2 cube. 4 numbers are there. In 3 square, we can have 3 power 0, 3 power 1, 3 square. 3 numbers. In 5 power 1, 5 power 0, 5 power 1. So, totally we have 4 here and 3 here and 2 here. So, 4 into 3 into 2, that is 12 into 2, there are 24 factors for number 360. Now, should you write all these things? No. If you can observe, in two, if there is a 2 cube, there will be 4 numbers. 3 square, power is 2, 3 numbers. Power is 1, 2 numbers. Let us take one last example on this, so that we can Conclude how to calculate the number of factors for any given number. Suppose if I take my number as let's say 560. How do we write this? 56 into 10. What is 56? 14 into 4 I can take. And this is 2 into 5. Now again, this is 2 into 7. 2 into 7. This is 2 square. This is 2. Power 1 and this is 5 power 1. So 2, 2 square, 2 power 1, 2 power 4 into 5 power 1 into 7 power 1. So this is the factorized form of 560. So if I want to calculate the number of factors, we'll do 5. Here 4 is their power, increase it by 1. 5 numbers will be there into 1 is there means we get 2 here and here also 2. 5 into 2, 10. 10 into 2, 20. So totally 20 factors are there for number 560. So, this is how we calculate number of factors of any given number. So, now let us generalize how to calculate number of factors. Suppose if I take number as n, let me write directly a factorized form of this. That is, let's say p1 power a into p2 power b into p3 power c and so on. I can take p4 power d and so on. Now, we are aware P1, P2, P3 are prime numbers and A, B, C, D, so on are their powers of prime numbers. Now, how do we calculate the number of factors here? Recall, we used to just increase the power. So, here if it is 2, we used to take 3. Here if it is 4, we used to take 5. So, here if it is A, it means we have to take A plus 1 into B means we shall take B plus 1. C, that is C plus 1. If there is a D, D plus 1, E, E plus 1 and so on. So, this is how we can calculate number of factors of any given number. So, this is the general formula for calculating the factors of any given number. Well, whatever we have learned till now is only to calculate the number of factors of any given number. Well, apart from that, Still, there are a lot more things that we can do with the number of factors. That is, 
we can calculate the even factors of a number, odd factors of a number, prime factors of a number and factors that are multiples of some other numbers like factors that are multiples of 3, multiples of 6, multiples of 12 and so on. And we have common factors, number of common factors between two numbers and we can calculate sum of the factors, also the product of the factors. Well, these are slightly advanced level of calculating number of factors. Now, all these things you will be learning when you subscribe for the advanced concepts. To watch more free videos, download our learn application from Play Stores. If you are benefited by these videos, please like and share our videos and also do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss any of our new videos that we upload regularly. If you have any queries or suggestions, please drop them in the comment section below. Also, if you want to reach out to me or any of my team members, you can always do that through any of the social media platforms and the links of which are already provided in the description below.